And hello, my name is Martin, and today we're going to be looking at an issue that uh, I was having with my computer that uh, I was running over the texture MIB budget. So the actual um, message or error message that you'll be seeing on your screen says texture streaming pool over MIB budget. So I, I left that up there because I've already fixed mine and so it's not showing up anymore, but it would be about in this area about right there. Um, so basically what's happening here is that um, Unreal Engine has only 400 megabytes that it's giving to uh, or, or allowing in RAM to be used to generate textures. Now, uh, the more textures you put into your environment, the less space it's going to have because as you move around, those textures have to be generated. Um, and they have to be available uh, from RAM memory so then that way as you sweep around boom the textures there so um, depending on the size of your GPU or your graphics card you will be able to extend this out bigger or smaller so I think as a default what uh, Unreal is doing is that they're leaving it at around 400 uh, which means that it's less than half of a gig of RAM that it's using to be able to load textures. Um, now in an environment like this where I've got lots of different textures and lots of different things, I was running out of that 400 megabytes very quickly. And eventually what will end up happening is that your computer will slow down and freeze even though you've got a huge graphics card available like myself. I've actually got 8 gigs of uh, RAM available on this computer's graphics card. Um, so one of the things that you need to do first is you need to figure out how much space or how much RAM you have on your graphics card. So let's go and check that out first. Um, so the easiest way to do this, right click down here on the folder, you want to open up a, a, new file ex, a, a new file explorer. And in there you'll see over here on the side, you'll see uh, this PC, you want to right click on that and you want to go to uh, properties and device manager okay so once you're inside the device manager you'll actually see one that says display adapters and if you click there you'll see that I've actually got two graphics cards loaded in uh, one is the, this one right here which is the Intel which I assume is what was on the motherboard and then the other one which is the more advanced graphics card which is giving me the 8 gigs so what I can do is I can double click on that and we can go through and we won't see really any information we'll see something like this but that's not really giving me any general information but so what I want to do is now that I know what the name of my graphics card is right it's the NVIDIA GeForce RTX whatever that is uh, we can go to the internet okay and you can literally just uh, where did it go there it is. Okay, so now I can just write that information in. in the, uh, and I've already looked for it, so there it is. And if I scroll down, boom, right there. So amount, max amount of memory would be that. Um, and so that, that's the card that I'm using right now for this. So I've got 8 gigs of RAM on my computer. So that gives me a lot of leeway because uh, the computer itself to be able to run needs maybe about, uh, you know, about 128 to 512 to keep itself going depending on whether you have advanced graphics, resolutions on your computer, whether you're, you're using it for performance or whether you're using it for max graphics content. Um, so basically in that 300 or that 400 megabytes that it was giving me um, I have a lot of extra space on my RAM card that could hold more textures so I can increase that budget and uh, and let's show you how to do that now so once you've discovered how much RAM your computer has you can allocate how much RAM you want to give to the MIB uh, to the uh, so then that way you're not exceeding that budget so what we need to do basically is we need to find this file right here that says basic scalability so let's do that real quick um, so again we're going to right click in the folder we're going to go to file explorer okay what you need to do is uh, go to your C drive or wherever it is that you've got your programs in this should be under pro so C drive program files and then you should be able to see a folder that's called Epic Games. 
So we'll double click on that. Go into the version of the software that you're using. So I'm using 4.23. And let's go to, uh, we have to go to engine. Then we have to go to configure. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you should now see one that's called base scalability. So let's double click on that to open it. Uh, you're going to get a notepad document. So let's hit control F on your keyboard. That's control F. And what that's going to do is going to bring up the finder. Now it's already got this information in there, which is this, what we need to look for. So what you need to type is R lowercase dot streaming with a capital S dot pool with a capital P. And once you have that information there, go ahead and hit find next and you'll see one that says texture quality. Now by default, the value that's right here is 400. So go ahead and increase that to let's say a little bit less than half of what your graphics card can handle. So if mine was eight gigs, I've increased mine to 3000, which should be about three gigs. So 400 would have been 400 megabytes. 1000 would be 1000 megabytes or one gig. Uh, if you have 2,000, that'll be 2 gigs, 3 gigs, 4 gigs, based on the graphics card that uh, you're using in front of you. Now, realize also that when you're doing this, you want to set this to the graphics card that has the least amount of power. So if you're moving your software, if you're moving your project back and forth between, let's say, the computers at school and the computer that you're working on at home, you want to set this value to the lowest value of the graphics card that's set currently in front of you. Um, so then that way you make sure that uh, you're not overpowering any one of the individual computers that you're sitting in front of. Okay, so once you've changed this number, go ahead and hit File, Save. So then that way that information is saved. And we should be able to close that down, close that down. Uh, at this point, what I would do is if you were in Unreal, I would close it, reopen it. I probably wouldn't have had it open in the first place while I was doing this. Um, but since I didn't make any changes, it, it shouldn't have affected anything within my environment. Um, so now I have more room in my graphics card for textures uh, based off of the amount of uh, data or the amount of gigs that are available on my graphics card, a little bit less than half. OK, so I hope you found that video uh, interesting and that uh, hopefully that will allow your game to stream a little bit better and um, have a wonderful day. Bye bye.